Thomas Lee Cat family. Today is October 6, 2024. And here's, here's uh, some frustrating social habits that can easily agitate someone. Um, number one, one is personally, do not badger someone for simple requests. It's kind of like money for a snack. Okay. Snack as an example. But just don't badger them for simple requests. It's, I mean, it's okay if you want something as a snack. But if you're going to badger her or, or for a simple request. But if you're going to badger someone on a simple request, then just and they're getting annoyed at you, who then just stop. You just reach the point that you, you're going to, to make someone angry. And number two, being judgy. Yeah, to someone's knowledge, it's, uh, well, typically, you shouldn't be pushy. You're thinking that, oh no, my, oh no, this one is, is just too old school. Oh no, 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 we're doing this my way. Oh no, 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 whatever. Just humble yourself because it's frustrating to deal with, because if someone's getting frustrated, then they can see that you're being, being disrespectful to someone's knowledge. I get it, that's granted. You can have your opinion. And that's all you get is an opinion. And just humble yourself to someone's knowledge. And first. And remember that it's their decision, not yours. Was you don't have to force it down the throat, but just give recommendations why you don't like this decision. And but you need to see from their picture first. As to so you can humble yourself. A third habit is, is snapping your fingers at someone. Kind of like uh, for in this one, that's just, that can make someone very angry in a heartbeat. But personally, if you do that, then that can be, be seen as disrespectful, and that can be frustrating. And yes, uh, as even though when it comes to if you want a response, well, well, it's not going to be a good response. Well, so that's one thing. If someone's just frustrated because of an issue that happened and well you're probably better off at discussing with them through a fair tone telling asking them not to say anything because they're frustrated and, and you discuss with an authoritative tone on that to you who apologize as for a behavior that I came across to as disrespectful and you, you interpret that that, uh, that they're frustrated and you can and yes and yes it's fair because yeah, it's the right answer to ask to ask one thing being uh, were you upset to that that uh, that I behaved in an aversion like were you frustrated at at how I was behaving, like snapping my finger at, at you who for a response and uh, and yes, you have that right to say you ang you were angry. Be assertive with your anger, not aggressive. 
of the, because that's, because if you're assertive with your anger, I'll be honest with you. First rule of being assertive with your anger is you're, you're channeling that, you need to say that to, you're angry and then you focus on the picture of what made you angry. The, and how you, you were angry. And then you, you also put in, before you close the case, you don't let the excuse slide. I, because personally, he, if you just to justify an excuse over and over again, and then it makes them not want to see that you're a respectable person. What takes a lot of work to earn it back. Number two, ooh, is that to have to you are respectful. You have the tone of being respectful to a set of anger. Or it's not condescending, it's not explosive, it's with respect. You need to communicate with respect. Even when you're angry, you need to have respect for a set of anger uh, and they they also make references but they they are not condescending on previous events but you have respect when setting your anger uh, and then the fourth thing is, is that uh, to you you make sure it doesn't happen again. And you ask, you restrain yourself. You ask someone to restrain you. Who? And then, and you interpret the fact that you, you were irritated. And you let them, you let yourself have space. And so for against actions that you will regret to having. That's what the picture is. Goal is to help help people change the anger for better decision making. And so now you know. So please comment, like, rate, share, subscribe, discuss, listen, reflect, and you have a good night. Shh. <sighs>